morning, everybody. Happy New Year. We'll stand up and sing together. I was buried beneath my shame. Who can carry that kind of weight? It was my tomb till I met you. I was breathing but not alive. All my failures I tried to hide. It was my truth till I met you. You called my name. You called my name. To your glorious day, you call, you call my name, and I ran out of that grave, out of the darkness. To your glorious day. Now your mercy has saved my soul. Now your freedom, now your freedom is all that I know. The old made new. Let's go. The old made new. Jesus, when I met you, oh, what a day. You call my name. Out of the darkness into your glorious day, you called my name, and I ran out of that grave. Out of the darkness into your glorious day. I needed a rescue. My sin was heavy. The chains break. Let's go. I needed a rescue. My sin was heavy. The chains break at the weight of your glory. I needed shelter. I was an orphan. Now you call me a citizen of heaven. When I was broken, you were my healing. Now you're Let's give him some praise. Lord, you are worthy.
Nothing better than him. Good morning. Happy New Year. 2021 is here. Can you believe it? You guys excited about this coming year? I'm excited about actually today, what God's doing today. Thank God we get to worship together, give him praise. If you're visiting with us, you're our special guest. We want you to feel welcome as you worship with us today. And if you didn't get a chance on the way out, we would love you to take a visit to Connect Central. It's right there on your left as you exit those double doors. We want to give you a gift today just for hanging out with us. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being with us today. Also, next week, you want to mark your calendars. Next week, you want to make sure you're here. Because we have a good friend of mine. His name is Victor Strisky. Victor Strisky, he's going to be here. He is going to be talking about worldwide events next week and how they relate to the Bible. He also has a passion for Israel. So you want to make sure you're here. And I'm going to, I'm going to challenge everybody this week to invite one friend. I want you to invite one person. Okay? I want you to think about it. Who's that one person? Invite one person you do not want to miss next week. And today we have our own executive pastor, Mr. Tim Nyhart. He's going to be giving us a word of encouragement from God. So excited to hear from him and what God is going to speak through him today. So welcome, welcome, welcome as we continue in worship. God bless. Stand and sing. You are who you say you are. You are who you say you are. You'll do. You'll do what you say you'll do. You'll be who you've always been to us, Jesus. Our hope, and our hope is in you alone. And our strength in your mighty name. Our peace, our peace in the darkest day remains. Jesus. Let's sing this in faith. This we know. This we know. We will see the enemy run. Yes, we know. We will see the victory come. We hold on to every promise you ever made. Jesus, you are unfailing. Our guide. Through the wilderness And our joy In the heaviness Let's sing this part out Our way And our way When it seems there is no way Jesus Let's sing what we know Yes we know We will see the enemy run yes we know we will see the victory come we hold on to every promise you ever made jesus you are unfailing this we know and this we know we will see the enemy run Yes, we know, we will see the victory come. We hold on to every promise you ever made. Jesus, you are unfailing. We trust you, we trust you. Your ways are higher than our own. I needed this verse here through many of the months of, of 2020. This part right here, before we sing this again, I'm sorry, Timmy. 
this part right here, this we trust you, we trust you, your ways are higher than our own. There are so many scriptures where I read that, that everything that he wills, he does. Uh, he orders the steps of every man. Um, everything that he planned for good, uh, the enemy meant for evil. I have all these verses that are stacked in my head throughout my life of learning about God, throughout my life of learning about who he is and what his intentions are and, and who he is. And yet I saw in 2020, this otherwise, what we saw on the internet, this dumpster fire happening in our culture, happening in our country, happening around the world. And I sit back and I'm wondering in my own private, quiet time, just in my own prayer, not from here, but because we've been doing this together long enough, I'm gonna be vulnerable with you, sitting there on Monday morning going, what are you doing? What are you doing? What's happening? Why does this seem so hard? I, I wouldn't do this. If I were in control of the thing, I wouldn't do this. And the Lord very firmly just brought this verse back to my memory that says everything that the Lord wills that he does and every good gift that comes, every good gift comes from above. Not only does he know what he's doing, but everything that the enemy has meant for evil, he's turning for good. Every sad thought that we've ever had is, is only because we have a spiritual enemy is whispering in our ear that says, this is out of God's control. He doesn't know what he's doing. Isn't it time for maybe a new king? Don't you think you can do this better, Daniel? And that all I need to do is just sit back, sing this verse right here. Lord, I trust you. I trust you. Your ways are higher than mine. You've, you've held this whole thing together in the beginning when there was nothing but void and emptiness. There was you and on your own accord, by your own will, spoke everything into existence, worked all of this DNA and all these pieces of particle and all this stuff to make all these people walking around here to give them good thoughts to make them go out and do good to get them to get these 12 people without the internet to cause the gospel to, to erupt around the world all these different things throughout creation all these different things throughout the earth is God going yeah just go back and rewind just a little bit of time and you'll see that in every bit of chaos there was an eruption of glory about to happen so my encouragement to you is the same encouragement I had on my brief sitting in the car this morning outside my garage about to drive here this morning singing this song with the Lord just telling me, just trust me, just trust me, my ways are higher than yours. This is causing an eruption of the gospel around the world. This is causing people to turn to Jesus that otherwise would have had no reason. Every bit of physical pain that God, that we have ever encountered has been to turn our eyes back to the one that created us. And that's our encouragement this morning. So we're gonna sing this out. And no matter what sort of sadness, no matter what thought you've ever had, maybe your thoughts aren't, don't go as dark as mine sometimes, but the Lord is saying, if you would just trust me, this is gonna cause an eruption of the gospel around the world. And people that otherwise would have had, never had any reason, so much peace and so much joy that has lulled them to sleep and made them think that their own victories have been because of themselves, God is now gonna use all of this to turn our eyes back to him. Let's sing this out. We trust you, we trust you. Your ways are higher than ours. We trust you, we trust you, your ways are higher than our own. We trust you, we trust you, your ways are higher than our own. Come on, and we trust you. We trust you, your ways are higher than our own. And we trust you in all things. We trust you, your ways are higher than our own. And then as we go, we will see the You are 
This is my story. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my in my Savior all the day long perfect submission perfect submission all is at rest I am the Savior I am the Savior Happy and blessed, watching and waiting, looking up, filled with his goodness, lost in his love. This is my story, this is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior. All the day long, I'm praising my Savior all the day This is my song. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art! How great!
listen, not sparing, send him to die. I scarce can take it in. That on that cross, my burden gladly bears. great let's give him praise Lord you are so great and greatly to be praised amen amen our Savior lives amen you may be seated you may be seated blessed assurance how great is our King amen it is so good to see you this morning. Happy New Year to you. 2021 is on us. We're three days into it. And we're putting 2020 in the history books. <laughs> it's amazing how I look around this room this morning. And I see, as I look in your, your face and your eyeballs, I can see you. <laughs> I reflect back on 2020, and boy, we've had the opportunity to pray together. Many of us have come together to pray throughout the week, and we've, uh, we've done life together. What an honor that is to do life with brothers and sisters in Christ. That's what the church is supposed to be about. Coming together, doing life together through the struggles, through the triumphs, through the celebration moments, through the tough moments, truly standing side by side, hand in hand. No matter what, because our Savior lives. As I look around the room, I reflect on 2020, and, and, and uh, I remember a lot of laughter that we've had along the way. We've cried together. We've celebrated together. And I just want to say thank you from my heart to your heart for 2020, because when I reflect on 2020, I see a lot of growth. And all, I see a lot of learning. We've learned together, yes? We've learned along the way. We've uh, had the opportunity in 2020 to spend time together with our Sunday night disciplines. We start off with our design, our keys to the design. We were able to open up and, and start to discover how the Lord has wired us so we can experience how the Lord has wired others. So we could take that intel and that information and start to truly use that information to connect with people 
On Sunday nights, through our disciplines, our keys and disciplines, we also had the opportunity to, to go through some keys to stress management. The 2020 could have been a little stressful in some, some, some areas and a little challenging in some areas. So we're able to, to go through some stress management and, and we're kind of learned together on Sunday nights through that discipline. And then from there, we went, on, we went on to the keys to financial freedom. And then from financial freedom, we finished up our disciplines on Sunday night with the keys to how you share your story. Each and every one of us, we have a, a, a story as a Christ follower. And may we learn how to, to share that testimony and share that story. And so we were able to do that on Sunday night through our Sunday night disciplines in 2020. And those disciplines are coming back in 2021. Stay tuned. Then on Wednesday night through our, our keys to the Bible, we took a, a, a trip in 2020 from the Genesis all the way to Revelation. And what an amazing time that was, uh, just, just huddling together and, 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 and just taking a trip down and, and working through the Scripture and and how the, the world events connect with biblical truth. What an amazing time that was on, 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 on Wednesday night. And Wednesday night's coming back. Keys to the Bible's coming back. Our students opened up in 2020 under the leadership of Daniel and Joe and Danny. And, and the students just having a time of their life on Wednesday night. And students start back in the new year this Wednesday. You don't want to miss it. 6.30 to 8. Students are live and, and, and ready to roll in 2021. Oh, what an honor it was to spend time with the men, the mighty men of this church that the Lord has blessed uh, this church to, to have. And under the leadership of Charlie Trammell, to have a men's breakfast together and to, to eat breakfast and to talk about life with, with other men. And then to pray for one another and to unite together. What an amazing opportunity that, that is at 6.30 in the morning on Wednesday at the Traveler's Restaurant. What an amazing time. Then the ladies of our church and community got together several times this, this past year and the, the poor paint event and the craft event. And uh, I snuck in a couple times just to kind of see, you know, I didn't stay there long, but it was awesome just to, to see how our ladies of this church, our women of this church and this community came together to have fellowship and enjoy life together and do life together. And then as uh, we continued to celebrate with lunch on the grounds, we had several lunch on the grounds in, back in 2020, and we had our uh, Christmas at Velocity with our worship team just doing a phenomenal job of leading us in that. We had a prayer night. Uh, we had a prayer night back in 2020, how we were able to come and just lay our concerns and our needs as a body of believers together at the Lord Jesus Christ's feet. What an amazing time in 2020. 2020, we also ushered in and connected with a boot camp called the Strap Em Up Boot Camp under the, the leadership of Sergeant Steve Sullivan and how his team comes on these grounds on Tuesdays and Thursdays and, and uh, Saturday mornings to, to really uh, help the youth of, of this, this community to, to grow them up and polish them to be men and women of God. What amazing, what amazing 2020 we had to, uh, to experience in many ways. Our prayer team on Tuesday night meet here to pray, and they pray throughout the week for each and every one of us in this church. It's something to celebrate. And so from my heart to your heart, I thank you for 2020. Thank you. It was a great ride. A great ride. With its challenges, with its celebrations, it was a great ride. And I thank you for 2020. 2021 is now on us. And isn't it amazing that this third day of January, that God loves each and every one of us exactly the way we are right now at this very moment. Isn't that exciting? As great as we may be, as wonderful as we may be, as okay as we may be, as fair as we may be, God loves us exactly the way we are right now at this very moment. But I've learned this along life's journey. <laughs> God doesn't want to leave us here. Wherever we may be, triumph, struggle, wherever we may be, God doesn't want to leave us here. He wants to improve us. He wants to get us better. He wants to make us more like Jesus. So as this church grows and gets better in 2021, may each and every one of us seek to get better in 2021. 
So this morning, I'd like to share with you three simple action steps of how we can improve and get better as a Christ follower in 2021. Now, these action steps are nothing new. It's not a surprise. It's, 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 it's nothing that you probably haven't heard before. But the challenge to each and every one of us this morning is may we get better in these three areas. May we get even better in 2021. May we get better at speaking life. May we get better at thinking life. And may we get better at embracing life. Before we jump in, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you that the government of this day rests on your shoulders. For you are almighty God, mighty counselor. Lord, I thank you that the responsibility and authority of this day rest on your shoulders, for you are our king. And so, Lord, I come to you this morning, and I pray that everything that's said and done in these moments would glorify you, almighty God. And, Lord Jesus, we'll be very careful, I'll be very careful, to give you the praise and the glory and the honor for it all. In your wonderful name, amen. When I was growing up, I was about eight years old, and I remember after playing with the neighborhood kids, I remember going home, and I went into the room where my mom was, and my mom kind of looked over to me, and she kind of could see that something was wrong with me, and she said, you know, Timmy, she called me Timmy. She said, Timmy, you know, what's wrong? Did you have fun playing with the neighborhood kids? And I said, yeah, 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 mom, I, I had some fun playing with the neighborhood kids, and, and, uh, but they, they, at the end, they kind of started calling me names. You see, when I, when I grew up and, and I was younger, I had my, my, my upper teeth kind of was got like an overbite. You know, They're, they kind of stuck over the lower, lower uh, part of my teeth, and I had two uh, teeth that really stuck out. And it was like I had like buck teeth, you know. <laughs> and so mom said, well, well, well what's, what's, what's wrong? I said, well, you know, the neighborhood kids, you know, kind of called me some names that kind of hurt my feelings. You know, they called me buck tooth rabbit. And so mom looks at me and she says, well, son, sticks and stones can break your bones, but uh, harsh words and nasty insults can never hurt you. And I started thinking to myself, hmm, that's pretty good, sticks and stones. So I decided to start using that whenever someone called me a name or, or throw an insult my way. And uh, I remember going, growing up through um, my elementary days and maybe junior high and somebody would call me a name or throw an insult my way. I'd say, sticks and stones. Sticks and stones, and then sometimes I say the whole thing, sticks and stones can break my bones, but harsh words and nasty insults can never hurt me. And inside, I was like, God, got you, ha <laughs> you know, sticks and stones. And you know what, that worked for a while. I worked for a while. But as I moved through my high school days and my college days, I started to realize that uh, sticks and stones can break my bones and harsh words and nasty insults can never hurt me. There's a little bit of truth to that, but that's not totally 100% uh, truthful. For I found along my journey that words have the ability to travel a lot deeper than any stick or stone can ever reach. For words have the ability to penetrate the heart. And I found along my journey that I have, we have power in our words. We have power to build up. We can inspire. We can motivate. We can encourage. We can love. And we have power to destroy, break down. It actually states in uh, Proverbs 18, 21, with the tongue, I have the power to speak life. And with the tongue, I have the power to speak death. May we, as Christ followers, choose to speak life. And in 2021, may we choose to speak even more life along the journey. I've also found along my journey, just because I'm speaking life, doesn't mean I am unable to export discipline or export correction. It doesn't mean that I, I don't have a misunderstanding uh, with, with someone, and it doesn't mean that I am unable to stand firm on my Christian, Christ-following convictions. I can still 
uh, stand up. I can still speak life. It just means I need to dig a little deeper. I'm unable to use lazy language. I got to dig a little deeper to find the, the, the right word to export that correction, to export that discipline, to export that possible explanation of a misunderstanding or so and so conflict. It actually states in Ephesians 4 29 and 31 and 32, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only that that is, is helpful for building up of others to their needs. May we get rid of bitterness. May we get rid of anger and brawling and slander. May we be kind and compassionate to one another. May we choose to speak life. For over 15 years, I had the opportunity and continue to do research on personalities. Actually, uh, as I was completing my PhD, I actually uh, wrote my dissertation on the model of human behavior, personalities and blends of personalities. And what I found through my studies is that each and every one of us in this room, like it or not, wanted to be this way or not, each and every one of us in this room, we have something very uh, common. We have a characteristic that we all enjoy. And that characteristic is we all enjoy a compliment. We all enjoy a compliment. Now, some of us may respond to that compliment differently. We may react to that compliment differently. But every single one of us in this room, we enjoy a compliment. May we as a Christ follower, husbands in the room, we need to be every single day complimenting our wives. Wives in the room, we need to every single day, we, be, we should be complimenting our husbands. Moms and dads, we should be complimenting our, our children and our kids every single day. Sons and daughters, you need to be complimenting your mom and dad every single day. If you're a son and daughter sitting in this room right now and you have a mom and dad, you need to compliment your mom and dad for just bringing you here this morning in a safe place, a welcoming place. We should be complimenting uh, our, our, our co-workers, our teammates, our neighbors. May we seek to speak life along this journey even more in 2021. And as we're speaking life, may we also choose to think life. In 2021, may we think even more life. See, I found along my journey that if I do not program this mind with life, I found that the, 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 the world has the ability to program my mind with death. It actually states in uh, Romans 8, 6, uh, that the mind is gather, uh, governed by the flesh. The mind that is governed by the flesh is death, but the mind that is governed by the spirit is life. So may we allow our mind to be govern, governed by the Spirit, and may we think life. May we think of life. May we think of life. Philippians 4 and 8 talks about, may I think of things that uh, are true, whatever is noble, whatever uh, is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, whatever is excellent, praiseworthy. May I think of these things. May we think life along the journey. Every morning I pray that this life would sow a godly thought. Because I found if I can sow a godly thought, I now have the ability and opportunity to reap a godly action. And if I can take that godly action and I can sow that godly action, now I have the opportunity to reap a godly habit. And if I can take that godly habit and I can sow that godly habit, then now I have the opportunity to reap a godly character. And if I can take that godly character and I can sow that godly character, now I have the opportunity to reap a godly destiny. May we as Christ followers and Christian soldiers sow a godly thought and in 2021, may we think even more life along the journey. 
as we're speaking life, as we're thinking life, may we also choose to embrace life. May we choose to embrace life. Throughout this past 2020, the Lord whispered to me almost daily, relax and enjoy the journey with me because I'm right here. (laughs) Relax. Enjoy the journey with me because I'm right here. Some of you may be thinking, well, you just, <laughs> you just don't relax. We're talking about relax. Enjoy. Enjoy what? Enjoy this? In 2020, I experienced weddings. I experienced funerals. I experienced triumphs. I experienced tragedy. I experienced new birth a couple weeks ago. I got to hold a five-week-old baby. It's the highlight of my day. He was awesome. I mean, it was awesome. New birth. This past 2020, I experienced a lot of laughter. I laughed a lot in 2020. But you know what? I cried a lot, too. I can't remember last year I cried as much as I did in 2020. 2020, I had a lot of celebration moments, lots of them. But you better believe it, I had some tough times too. And through it all, through it all, the Lord continues to teach me to trust in Him and relax and enjoy the journey with me. Embrace life. Embrace life because I'm right here beside you. Embrace life. Can you imagine, can you imagine that the Lord Jesus Christ is right here beside me? No, seriously, right right now at this very moment, he's right beside me. Poof, there he is. And he looks over to me, he says, Nyhart, you're not doing very well. So I'm going to make it easy on you. For the rest of your life, I'm going to be right beside you. No, no hidden tricks, no hidden agendas. For the rest of your life, I'm going to be standing right beside you. You can talk to me. You can shake my hand. You can give me a hug. You can ask me questions. And this is the thing. Everyone else will be able to see me too. They can talk to me. They can shake my hand. They can hug me. They can ask me questions. For the rest of your life, I'm going to be standing right beside you. Wherever you go, I go. If you're walking across the church campus, I'm going to be walking there right beside you. If you're walking across stage, I'm going to be right there beside you. If you're in your vehicle driving down the road, I'm going to be sitting there right beside you. If you're at a restaurant eating food, I'm going to be sitting there right beside you. If you're at home taking a shower, I'm going to be standing there right beside you. If you're at home laying down in bed, I'm going to be laying there right beside you. If you're walking the grocery aisles, I'm going to be walking there right beside you. Wherever you go, I go. It'd be a lot easier to embrace life, wouldn't it? Is Jesus Christ beside you? Hmm. Well, I tell you, I, would, uh, I think I'm all squeaky clean now. I think I'd, uh, I'd speak a lot more life. Hmm. Think a lot more life. You better believe I'd embrace more life. But as a Christ follower and a Christian soldier, do you know one thing? Jesus Christ is standing right beside me right now, this very moment. He's actually sitting right beside you. If you're a Christ follower, he's sitting right beside you right now at this very moment. And I believe in my heart that he's whispering the same thing to you that he's been whispering to me, whispering to me all 2020 season. Relax and enjoy the journey with me. I'm right beside you. I'm right beside you. Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 states, Come to me. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. I will give you rest. As we embark on this 2021, may we embrace life. May we embrace life. May we learn even more how to relax and enjoy the journey with our King because He's right beside us. He's right beside us. I've asked Timmy to come 
and play the keys for us. And I really believe as we are opening up this 2021 season, I really believe that may we just open up our hearts and our minds to whatever, where, wherever we are right now at this very moment, this third day of January, may we seek to get better. So whatever's on your heart, I, I like to just take a time and, and just pray. Just delay whatever concern, whatever item that you may have, whatever's in your mind and your heart, whatever you're thinking about, whatever fret or whatever championship moment or tough time or wherever you may be right now at this very moment, would you just lay that at the Lord's feet? Would you just lay it at the Lord's feet? We're going to dim the lights, and, and for the next three minutes, to three and a half minutes, four minutes, maybe we're just going to pray. We're just going to pray, and just whatever, whatever's on your heart, just lay it at the Lord Jesus Christ's feet. And would you do this for me? Would you just pray, Lord Jesus, would you help me speak more life in 2021? Would, 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 would you help me think more life in 2021? And Lord Jesus, would you help me embrace this life more in 2021 before you are right beside me? So whatever's on your heart right now, just lay it at the Lord Jesus Christ's feet. And then I'll come back and pray. And then we'll get our praise team back up here and worship team back up here. And we'll, we'll have a great time of worship as we depart and embrace this third day of January. Let's pray. Would you stand with me? I'd just like to pray a blessing over you this morning. If for some reason you have never accepted Lord Jesus Christ in your life to be your Lord of all lords and King of all kings, Pastor Reggie is right over to my left. I'll be in the back. Would you be bold enough just to grab one of us by the hand and say, hey, listen, would you pray with me? If you don't have confidence or you don't feel comfortable or connecting with myself or, or Pastor Reggie, then grab someone that you, you're, you're comfortable with and just say, they're going to love to pray with you. They'd love to pray with you. May we open up this 2021 season. Lamentations 3.23 states, God's mercies are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness.
May we create brand new headlines this year. May we be ahead. As a Christ follower, as a Christian soldier, we are ahead of the game. We're not with the game or behind the game. We're ahead of the game in the name of Jesus because our King reigns. Our King reigns. He came to earth. He was born. He lived a perfect life. He he, he suffered and died on a cross, and then he conquered death because our King lives. We have hope for tomorrow, and we can be in front of the game, not with it, not behind it, in front of it. So may we step out with great boldness in 2021. Velocity Church, we're going to get better in 2021. You better believe we're going to get better. And may we, as Christ followers, may we get better in speaking life, in thinking life, and embracing this life. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I pray right now for each and every person in this room, Lord. I pray you'd shine your face upon them. Lord Jesus, I pray that you would send your angels of protection to protect each and every person in this room, Lord Jesus. I pray your blessings would overflow in their lives. Lord Jesus, overflow their cup with your blessings, Lord Jesus. And Lord Jesus, I pray that you continue to send your Holy Spirit to guide each and every one of us in truth. And we'll be very careful to give you the honor and the praise and the glory for it all in your wonderful name. Amen.
First Sunday of 2021. Thank you guys so much for being here this morning. Uh, sixth, seventh, and eighth graders look forward to hanging out with you guys on Wednesday night. See everybody else on Sunday. You guys have an incredible week. See you guys later.